Good morning. I just woke up. Um, I wanted you to get ready with me today. But I wanted to walk you guys through my morning. So good morning. It is currently 12-12. I've awoken. I usually wake up around this time. Sometimes I will sleep in. Um, but honestly, I don't sleep in too much anymore uh, because I leave my curtains open. If I leave my curtains open, I end up, it wakes me up in the morning. First thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is honestly go on my phone. So. On the subreddit, this is my life now. allowed for YouTube I don't know but this <laughs> was too funny to not show all right the next thing I do is make my bed voila now it is time for me to wash my face and get ready for the morning Letting the water get warm. It takes forever, unfortunately. Literally for, oh no. Great, Windex. <laughs> All right guys, come on. Psych, you thought. I'll be back. I'm not that type of YouTuber. Okay, I didn't um, wash my face in the shower so that I could show you guys what I use. So my morning routine consists of Paula's Choice. Um, I have acne, so I use their clear line. It's just their poor normalizing cleanser. I use witch hazel every morning. I swear by witch hazel. I then go in with vitamin C serum from Paula's Choice. Then I go in with spot treatment for my acne. Again, same Paula's Choice clear brand. This is just the daily skin clearing treatment. And I usually just go in with some sunscreen. And lotion. Hi, right, let's get started. First up, witch hazel. Um, I hated having to get um those cotton browns all the time at the store because I would always run out really quickly. So I started just putting it in my hand and putting it on my face. Which is a little scuffed, but it works. Next up, vitamin C serum. Put one right here, one right here, one right there. So I have pretty bad acne scarring. Um, and this helps. Be gentle with your skin. Okay. Well, my skin is like really red to the touch. So whenever I start doing my face stuff, my skin starts, you can, it shows on my acne scars, unfortunately. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and spot treat. Where are all my acne is. And then while that is waiting to sit, I boss my teeth. Teeth brushed. Next, on the agenda is sunscreen. You should always be wearing sunscreen. I know this is not like a tutorial or anything, but I promise you, you won't regret it when you're older. Um, and I always put sunscreen on the back of my hands. Cause your hands are the first thing to show age. And then I just put a little lotion. So now my skin is all ready for the morning, for the day. The Honestly, vlogs are hard, hard, really hard. Um, but yeah, now I'm just gonna put makeup on. And I'm gonna go uh, take you to my vanity. Okay, welcome to my vanity that I got from Ikea and I installed these, or installed, I stuck on these lights that I bought from Amazon. So yeah. When I do my makeup, I'm putting on chapstick. For anybody that knows me by now, I love Aquaphor. Okay, I took the label off, but Aquaphor is a dream. You should use it. I am no makeup expert, so I am 
don't really uh, do anything special, but I will show you guys what I'm doing. Um, this is just, I think it's called the match stick from Fenty. I just go in with concealer. Something that I really like about doing my makeup in the morning or whenever I wake up, something that I've always loved about doing my makeup is it is me time. I used to play, just play, play music um, and it was just me. I gotta like be in my head and I actually love makeup. For me, I've always struggled with uh, insecurity as well. So makeup is the thing that gives me the confidence to look people in the eye. And I think that's really cool. I think it's really cool that I've had that for, or been able to have this for so many years because I really struggled growing up with confidence. I mean, I still struggle with, I still struggle with confidence. It is really hard for me to, um, I don't know. It's really hard to love yourself, honestly. So I, to this day, struggle with confidence, but I am of the mindset, fake it till you make it. But makeup helps. So I'm going in with my foundation. I use the Fenty foundation. I actually really like Fenty, so. Um, it's the one thing that I think gives enough coverage for my acne, but it feels light. It doesn't feel gross at the end of the day. So then I go in and draw my eyebrows. I buy this thing from Amazon. It's called Billion Dollar Brows. I go in with this brush. I get some product on it and then I draw my eyebrows. Brows done. Then I do my eyeshadow. Uh, I use this, it is from Sephora and it's called Scented Candle. I just take this base color and I uh, put it everywhere. And then I go in with this Literally, it's like the tiniest. I don't know if it's even good. My mom happened to have this and gave it to me as extra and now I just use the brown in it. So I just go in with brown. Any brown, doesn't matter what brown, doesn't have to be this brown. I just, I'm I'm really like uh, not picky about the eyeshadow that I use. Okay, I know this looks really bad. Okay, but that's what I do and then I go in and blend it. The most important rule for makeup, in my opinion, is blending. So I literally just sit here and blend, 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 blend. I like love sparkles. So whenever I do eyeshadow, I'm always gonna finish the look with sparkles. It's called Cream Metallic Foil Eyeshadow. This color is Dubai. I just go in and put it on the corners. Or my, no, this is not a corner. Well, okay, let me try and do some makeup. I put it on my lids. Put it all over my lids. I um, put on my Sephora powder. Um, I use a really big brush. And just... Now I'm gonna go and do my eyeliner. This is something that I've been using since I was in sixth, sixth grade. Blah, 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 blah. Sixth grade, no joke. This one's called Black Track Pro Longwear Fluid Line. It's literally just, it's just eyeliner. I use an old eyeliner pen to just apply it. I like put it on it and then it's jank, I know. But I just go in to fill in the, the kind of the spots that didn't get covered. And then I go in and do my lids. And then since it's been a while since I got a lash fill, I'll just go in and put mascara on them. I just finished my mascara. And because I put my foundation on and my powder, I lost all the color to my skin, so I look dead. So I'm gonna go put blush, I'm gonna put blush on. And then I usually finish with highlighter. And then I always have makeup on my lips because when I put my foundation on, I don't really, I just put it on and I just take off the makeup on my lips. I have a mole right there. That mole is like kind of large. So I feel like when I cover it, it, look, it makes my makeup look less natural. Uh, I only recently started doing this uh, when I noticed. I was like, hmm, my mole like makes it look like I'm wearing kind of like cakey makeup. So I'm just gonna go in and dab that. So yeah, that is my completed makeup look. Uh, now I'm gonna get dressed. Honestly, my closet is um, 
Yeah, I actually don't wear a lot of these and I have a lot of space open. So I need to revamp my closet, but I'm gonna get dressed. I don't know what I wanna wear. Ever. All right. I'm gonna wear this with this new shirt that I got. It'll be cute. One of my signature looks is my hoop earrings. I'll never ever leave the house without these. And oops, my jade ring. This symbolizes my when I went full time. It's a reminder to work hard for you guys. Thank you for watching my Get Ready With Me. If you are interested in more content like this, I would love to hear feedback. You know, smash that subscribe button and the like button, comment below, you know. Um, but yeah, I would love feedback. I don't really know where my YouTube channel is going and I'm, and I'm, I'm really having fun with adventuring with it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Dude, <laughs> you already know. I climbed right back in bed with my PJs on. See you guys next time. <laughs>